knows nobody panicked, but nearly the entire universe has been destroyed. And who's to blame for it, Zed? This guy. Now, Soul is the last star. It's a danger of destructification, too. And we need to put a stop to it. But you're going to need guns like these. And these. We need some muscle to kick serious ass. When I say muscle, I mean like bird dudes who can fly with rockets, sword like vampires, flying luchadors, penguin in a mech suit, whatever. We take what we can get. So join the battle board today. Fight each other or slaughter the enemy and save the last star. We'll forever know that you was out when we needed you most. Your call! <sighs> Pretty amazing, right? Did you even read the cue cards? You skipped all the best parts! <clears throat> Behold, the universe, once lit by countless stars. Nowadays, eh, not so much. What's worse, the few stars still burning have all been dragged screaming into the void by this handsome vampire, Lothar Renday. And legions of extra-dimensional horrors, the Varelsi. Now they're coming for Solus, the last star in the universe. You're probably thinking, gosh, isn't there another way? Indeed there is! Join us! We're the Last Light Consortium, and when we're not economically subjugating systems throughout the galaxy, we're bringing the hurt to Rendane and his Varelsi masters. As a card-carrying battleborn, you can embark on missions solo, or you can bring along some homies to die alongside you. Did I say die? I meant succeed and save the star and everybody is happy forever. But in its endless pursuit of profit, the LLC also happily endorses bloody territorial combat between off-again, on-again allies. In capture, you'll square off against other Battleborn to seize control of energy collectors. Expect these fights to be fast-paced, brutal, and action-packed. In Meltdown, you'll be guiding adorable little robots, each with their own hopes and dreams, to their grisly death. Sacrifice more robots than your opponents to curry favor with the arbiter of robot recycling, Minrek, and escape his wrath. Your efforts have pleased, Minrek. In a universe with only one star and a handful of inhabitable worlds, the real estate market is just bonkers. In Incursion, you'll stake your claim on these worlds, protect your HQ, and fight for every inch of terra firma while you siege your enemy's base. Yes, sir! We are growing deep in opportunity at the Last Light Consortium! But badassery is only half the story! Fighting earns you cold, hard cash! What? Everyone who fights for Solus is compensated handsomely! Kill stuff! Earn credits! Use those credits to buy fancy new duds, cybernetic upgrades, and even inappropriate gestures. Whoa, all that for just shooting dudes? I was just gonna shoot dudes anyway. But wait, there's more. Have I mentioned the latest and greatest in compulsory invasive genetic modification? Now, let's say a fella only knew what some of those words meant. Explain the rest of them. Okay, every Battleborn badass is fit with an LLC brand Helix Ring. These little beauties can replace your genetic bio once it's on the fly and are powered by raw violence. They ensure that every combat encounter is as new and exhilarating as the first day you step foot on the battlefield. In exchange for all these sweet benefits, you will hurl yourself headlong into the gaping maw of death itself. Suck! But you don't have to do it alone. Hoo-ah! That's why, for the first time, the LLC is reaching out to all the denizens of Soros, regardless of prior factional affiliation. That means no matter where you come from, whatever nonsense you believe, there's a place for you here. <laughs> We've even hired on Generate. Take Rat, for instance. This fella tried to kill Rendane himself before he bailed on the Imperium. Wrath uses a trio of swords perfect for liberating appendages from Torso. Much like his associate Caldarius, this brutally efficient badass clawed his way up the generate fighting pits to become a champion. Never far from Caldarius' side is Atticus. This cybernetically enhanced thrall is a pugilistic superstar, throwing haymakers that get stronger with every impact. And hey, there's Andra! She channels the power of the stars themselves to scorch her enemies to cinders. 
watch your back. Deandy, the former spy master of the Generate Empire, is ruthless with both razor honed fan blades and spreadsheets alike. Able to cloak, strike, and disappear before you can blink, Deandy is the deadliest assassin the Imperium has ever seen. <laughs> Perhaps you're one of those unaffiliated free people of Solus fellas, colloquially known as a rogue. Like Reyna, the rogue faction's unofficial leader. She uses some way cool tech to shield her crew from danger. Isn't that nice of her? I guess? Indeed! You can be certain, for example, she'll have Whiskey Foxtrot's back. Of course you are familiar with the clones of the Rapid Deployment Corps, since you are one! Well, even though Whiskey was from an earlier failed batch of troopers, he persevered and became a fierce independent warrior in his own right. Hey, we don't speak about the black sheep of the family. Mikes are the real deal. Move it on. <laughs> Let's get killing. That right there is Orendi, and she's some kind of multi-armed psychic murder storm. She channels powerful magic-like energies and has been clinically diagnosed as bad <laughs> crazy. <laughs> No less unusual is Shane and her conjoined ethereal partner in crime, Orox. A magical genie for crying out loud. And while Orox doesn't love being bonded to a punk ass kid, he does love unleashing a medley of fantastical energies to keep his hatred well fueled. I totally love you! Sorry, that's weird. And Toby, cute, adorable Toby. Just don't say that to his face. He's super insecure about it. But he hides it well inside his custom-built mech, replete with a crazy powerful railgun and shield projector. And then we have the UPR, the United Peacekeeping Republics, the sword protectors of... Eh, some idealistic nonsense. Let's begin with... Yeah, let me just stop you right there. I've served with the UPR for years. I know all about these clowns. We can skip this bit. No, you're gonna love this part. First, there's Montana, a lumbering pile of fun whose considerable bulk allows him to soak up hurt for his team. He also wields a fire and ice viewing machine gun and loves hugs. Then, you've got his super best friend, Oscar Mike. Oh snap, that's me, that's me! Who thinks hugging is stupid and for stupid people. He prefers relating to his fellow man with bullets and laser-guided airstrikes. Hell yes I do! Tell me more flattering crap, computer guy! Moving on, let's talk about Benedict. This fine-feathered fellow was plucked from his perch when the Morelsi invaded his roost. He wields his rocket launcher with an eagle eye. <laughs> you see what I did there? You're losing me again! Who's next? <clears throat> Allow me to present Galilea. The so-called Wraith of Bliss is brimming with dark energy that she can unleash in torrents, sucking the very life essence out of anyone unlucky enough to get in her way. She also has a really cool sword, but come on! Dark energies! Hardly with the effort! Which brings us to our spiritual leader, Captain Trevor Galt. A respected commander and capable tactician, Galt wields both charisma and shotguns with equal effectiveness. I'd be remiss not to mention the Eldrin. This cosmic collection of astronomers, mystics, and space hippies believe that the universe should be left alone to run its course. But don't think that makes them pacifists. These nature lovers have teeth. Just look at Thorn. This ranger once roamed the jungles of Equinar, killing the ever-loving crap out of any interlopers who strayed into her realm. We hired her, gave her a bath, and now she smells much less like a campfire. Now, Boulder, on the other hand, he may smell like a peat bog, but handles that shield and rune-forged axe like a champ, and will gladly separate anyone's head from their torso if they threaten his land. Miko is, well, a mushroom. He's great at healing. Miko devotes her, uh, his, mm, it's? It's time to restoring all which can be restored and throwing daggers at things which cannot. Oh, it's Kelvin. How ice of you to stop by. See what I did there? Ice? <laughs> That's because Kelvin looks just like a majestic wall of crystalline shards. That'll send a chill down your spine. Did it? No appreciation for good humor. <laughs> Finally, we have Melka, a high-ranked Eldred operative. She fights with a crazy scary monster arm that she can reshape by mere thought alone. Of course. 
course, you could always devote yourself fully and completely to the Last Light Consortium. Just take a look at a few of our best and brightest, only some of whom are insane robots. <laughs> Phoebe, who for whatever reason puts her intellectual capacities towards the high octane blood sport of competitive sword puppetry. Two and three on God. Then we have Marquis. You disgust me. He's a high society cybernetic sociopath. He manufactures adorable little robot owls that blow up, and he even named his gun Findlebane for crying out loud. Top that. Have a look at El Dragon. This prosthetically enhanced fighter has a lot to be proud of. Whether he's leaping from the top buckle or taking some Morelsi to the mat, El Dragon makes a fearsome opponent on the battlefield. And when he summons the power of his guardian dragon spirit, all his powers become amplified with fiery energy. Please, it's over. <laughs> now, I'm no fan of cleats, but I'll admit that you want this old timer on your side during battle as no one is better at draining enemy shields, buffing yours, raining down mortar shells, and when all else fails, summoning black holes that consume everything around them. <laughs> Not bad for a stupid old skin bag. And hey, who's got two thumbs and is about to introduce himself? This guy. And I don't have any thumbs. So you see, there's a place for everyone in the LLC, even monsters like yours truly. So whether you're securing the future of energy on picturesque Equinar, crushing your sworn enemies on the snow-swept hellscapes of Bliss, or exacting wild-eyed vengeance on Tempest against Rendane's generate Imperium and his Varelsi nightmare pals, there's always something for badasses to do in Solus. Badasses not unlike yourself. So how about it? Why not join the best, and albeit last company in the universe? With the Last Light Consortium, your future is as bright as it is compulsory. End transmission. So, like that. Think you can stick to the script this time? Scripts are for losers!